welcome back to our channel. We have come up with the second day of our NC500 journey. The North Coast 500 is a 516 mile scenic route along Scotland's northern coast that begins and ends in the city of Inverness. But in this trip, we have covered from Inverness to Alapool. In the second day, we started from Galsby and reached town, making stops at Brora, Wick, John O'Groats, and Thurso. We checked out from the Invicta House at Galsby. We are starting our journey on the second day. We spent a nice time in Galsby. We liked this small town. And now we are going out of the town towards further north. If you have missed the day one of this journey, you can check our last video. Link is given in the description box. It was supposed to rain throughout the journey, but we are lucky enough to get such a sunny day to start. We reached our first spot, the Conliath Brock. Brocks are only found in Scotland, mostly in the north and west. The form of these huge round towers probably developed from earlier round houses, which became increasingly complex and impressive. This is nearly a 2000 years old building overlooking the North Sea situated in such an amazing location. The Brock stands 3 meter tall today, but at its time it could have been 3 times of that. Let's get inside the Brock. The Brock has exceptionally thick walls. The owners of the brocks were often wealthy individuals with long distance contacts. This is illustrated at Karnliath in the finds of an unusual copper alloy ingot and a silver brooch, which dates back to 300 to 400 AD. Within the walls, there's a passage for a staircase that takes you to the upper level of the brock. We have come up to the roof of the brock and the view from here is just amazing. This must have been their first floor of the house. There's a view of the Dunrobin castle from here as well. We are now heading towards our next stop. We are hoping that the weather will remain like this and it doesn't rain. Our next destination is the Brura Beach, which is an excellent spot for wildlife watching. Visitors have often spotted seals, otters, heron, and sometimes dolphins in this beach. The beach has a spectacular view of the North Sea. The Murray Firth or the Murray River meets the North Sea at this point. It's also said that prehistoric wildlife can also be found in the form of fossils at the mouth of the river.
what can be more soothing than a peaceful walk on a beach? We did not spot any whales or dolphins, but yes, there are a lot of birds on the beach. We are going to spend some more time here before we head to our next spot. We arrived at the Berrydale Breeze viewpoint. This viewpoint offers a stunning view of the horizon and the steep drop in the landscape near the sea. Our next destination, Castle of Oldwick. Situated on a stunning landscape, the Castle of Oldwick is also known as the Old Man of Wick. There stands the ruins of the castle. The landscape is just breathtaking and it's so windy here. It's a short walk from the car park to the castle by the seaside. Entering the gate of the castle, you get this mesmerizing view. Many seagulls make their nests in these gullies. You can see a lot of them flying there. Once a castle, now only a pile of stones. This is one of the oldest castles of Scotland, located in such a position that it is inaccessible from three sides. We will continue our journey in the next video. Stay tuned as we have a lot more to share with you. If you have liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and share your feedbacks. Subscribe our channel and you can also follow me on Instagram for some stunning pictures from this trip. Link to my Instagram is given in the description box. Thanks for watching.